good morning guys today we are with our local friend fernando who is taking us to the best cenote in quintana roo and this isn't a bigger tourist attraction it is super popular with the locals which is why it is a little hidden gem it's called tak biha and what that means in mayan language is hidden water it's mandatory to have a shower before you go into the cenote as you can't have any sun cream or any product on you so you have to make sure that you rinse everything off um, so here are the showers they are literally attached to the tree so it's really nice being out in nature and in wildlife um, but now I'm going to go and get my ticket and go inside just before the entrance to the cenote there are loads of traditional Mayan souvenir shops which is really nice to walk through and then the entrance to this particular cenote is 350 pesos so if you intend on diving in this cenote this is where you would take all of your diving equipment down um, because it is easier to do it here and go down by the rope than taking it in down by the stairs is completely and utterly fresh so refreshing and honestly out of this world so the formations which come down from the top of the cave you're not allowed to touch um, but the rest of the rocks within the cenote you absolutely can and you can walk over them sit on them um, do whatever you like and they are a little bit sharp so if you do have some swimming shoes then obviously that would be ideal i think you'll just feel a little bit more comfortable but you can definitely go in there barefoot as well um, i personally like to wear swimming shoes just because the worst thing is cutting yourself in a swimming pool or a cenote or anything like that um, but this is absolutely stunning formations grow one inch and this is by it raining on the outside and this helps the formations grow by sticking onto the formations up here and then this is how the beautiful cenote stays like this for so many years so this is what it looks like when the formations start to grow and then when they have grown they then look like this. There are bats in here as well, which is completely crazy. Um, but they do keep the mosquitoes away. But then someone just said that they did give us all coronavirus as well. So, hmm, not sure how I feel about that. So the last thing that we're gonna do is go to the dark cave. <laughs> now this is why I really, really recommend going with a local or with a tour guide, because I think if we had come here on our own, we would have just been like, oh, this is so beautiful, what an amazing cenote. But there's so many parts of the cenote that um, we've seen now because we've come with Fernando, which has been amazing. So we have just got out of the cenote and it was absolutely amazing. We are so glad that Fernando took us to the cenote. Complete potluck meeting him and um, it's been the best day ever. So we're now gonna head back, but I just wanna mention that if you do want Fernando to take you on a trip to this particular cenote and he does do a range of other trips as well, um, then you can get him on Facebook and I will put the details down below. It costs 500 pesos if you'd like to go with Fernando. If you can go there on your own and it costs 350 pesos but you don't get to go around the dark cave um, and you don't get to get a full understanding of what all of the different formations are there for. So um, I would recommend going uh, on a guided tour. Um, and then if you do want transportation, then obviously depending on where you're located, that will be on top of that. Well, thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. Please subscribe, like and leave a comment and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.